Hi, Julius Clare. Very pleased to meet you okay, this well. evening. So uh, you're up for an award this evening, aren't you? Can you tell us a little more about that? Yeah, uh, Son of a Gun is up for uh, uh, Best Feature um, at the London Film Festival. Um, and it's a really strong um, group of films and very diverse. Um, and so it's exciting to just be, be honoured just to be in a festival, let alone actually be in the competition. I was going to say, judging by your accent, I may say, you're not from the UK. Uh, so was there a concern when you were submitting films, you know, internationally, whether there would be international interest, actually? Look, I, I set out to make a, a film that was an entertaining and thrilling ride, uh, and I wanted to, uh, um, didn't want to be too parochial with the casting. I wanted to, uh, where I'm from, uh, there's actually quite a big UK contingent in Perth, and um, South Africans and Eastern Europeans, and so it felt very real to me to, to cast uh, like uh, the likes of Ewan McGregor and uh, Alicia Vikander. So, yeah, I was I was really um, not too worried about accents or, uh, um, or where people were from, just being true to the world, and so that's where it all came from. You're working with actors that have already made their mark. Was was that daunting for you? Yeah, of course. Like you, uh, working with Ewan McGregor is the most iconic actor in the world. Like he's. He's played some seminal roles like, you know, Train Spotting and uh, Obi Wan Kenobi in Star Wars, and he's uh, he's one of the. But when you when you meet him, he's one of the nicest guys in the world. He's very down to earth. He doesn't have any of those sort of, you know, usual trappings of stars, and uh, he's very. He makes you feel like you know what you're doing, and it's really important for a first time director to know what, you, what you're doing. So. Uh, yeah, he, and he also really helped uh, Brenton Thwaites, who was, he, was his first leading role in a film, and, and, he, and he looked after him in a sense that he was always um, uh, helping him, uh, you know, uh, with, within the scene and making sure that he was looked after. With regards to being a first-time director, were you conscious when you were filmmaking that you had to sort of think a bit further in the future as where this was going to go, where you're going to put it into festivals, was it going to have just a theatrical release in the, your own country? Were you, do you have to think that far in advance? I think you have to just, um, you have to, with this type of film, you have to think, uh, think about your audience and, uh, and for us it was just, we set out to make a high octane thrilling ride and um, you know, and, and we, we wanted to stay in within the conventions, but also just bring a bit of edge and, and a, a, the central core relationship in it is a father-son relationship and, and build a big epic story around that. And uh, so in terms of finding an audience, it was, um, it was yeah, it was, it was definitely an objective of ours and it sold, the film is sold everywhere around the world. So, um, you know, we're, we're very happy and proud of the success so far and it hasn't even screened anywhere yet.